everybody, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here, welcome! My name is Melissa or Missa, hope you're having a nice Friday evening, whatever it is you're doing. I was just sitting fanning around with makeup and I did this eye and then I sent it to my sausages on our WhatsApp chat and I was like, should I film it or should I be lazy and not? And I got a few yeas, film it. So I filmed this look here, today we're going to be doing, um, full face, graphic big liner with some glitter, some blue accents. We're not even using an eyeshadow palette today, which is weird um and yeah we're just gonna fanny around play with makeup do what we always do on this channel i should get potato at this point shouldn't i to say hello because that's really why you're all here loving a little snooze so yeah me and potato are just gonna sit and play with makeup and if you want to see how i did this look here then please just do keep on watching you want to say hello up close hello is it me you're looking for? Good boy. Such a calm boy. Little fluff monster. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and primed with my Revlon Candid. This is the second one I've almost finished up. It's very exciting. Like, well done, Melissa. And the product I'm going to use is the Barium High Viz Water Activated Colour. I think these are $4.99 and they are fantastic. Like I've only used the black one so far, I do have the white one as well, but um, yeah, they're really, really good. So let me just, I'm just going to like spray a bit of primer water in there. And then the brush is one of my tiny little brushes that I got at the range. These little um, Royal and Lang Nickel brushes this is the 10 stroke zero so it's really really tiny and i'm just gonna do my shape and is this gonna match the other side no because i'm filming and even when i don't film they don't match yeah these liners are so good they're so black do you know what they're actually really good for is when you're doing like a black smoky eye and you just want a really intensely black base they don't crack or anything this is the hard part <laughs> And it's okay to make a mess because we can really clean it up without having our base on, obviously. Um, and then what I did was took it on my lower lash line. Sorry if you can hear Potato, he's cleaning himself. And then swept it up. It's really nice and matte as well. Anyway, if you're anything like me, you take your photos from the side, so as long as you like somewhat match it, it's okay. So that goes too high up. <laughs> it's very easy to clean. So I think it's maybe more swooshed out like that, and then this bit's a bit far. Okay, we'll start with that, and I'll just use that brush to fill this in. I mean, it's very easy. It's just a little bit of precision, I guess. Yeah, currently, that match is as good as I'm going to get it, to be quite honest. And then what I did was took just my raggedy makeup wipe. And I've got long nails, so I'm just going to take off the majority of this black that's in the way. Okay, and then I'm going to take um, this brush, it doesn't have a name, it's just this tiny little brush and my infallible pomade concealer just, mm, just as a little bit of a base because obviously I did just like wipe that off and I'm just going to like do this rounded shape thing. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can clean it up with the black but I will you know try and make it match somewhat and then I took my the, the highlighter that I'll use today anyway but I just used it to kind of set the concealer it's my Amazon um a resi dupe highlighter and I just kind of set that in place 
so pretty on its own, but obviously I had to add a, a little bit more sparkle to it to make it a bit more interesting. I'm still debating adding more glitter, to be honest. Stunning, I tell you. And then my Barry M Heat. This is with the Anna Lingus collection. These are still available. This is the shade Heat. This is what I'm going to use to sparkle it up a bit more. This is a P. Louise brush, the number 7072. I'm going to pop this on top everywhere that I put the highlighter. This has the most beautiful reflex of like pink and like gold. Oh, it's like almost like duochrome gold to pink. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I've actually got a backup of this in case they ever decided to discontinue it. Oh, that is stunning. That is such a gorgeous colour. I'm going to use my fan just to dry it faster. And there we go. And then I'll go back to my Barry M and my little brush. And then just like, you know, round it off and Drag it in at the corner as well. I think this adds just a little bit more interest, but also it's going to help when I put my lashes on because they won't be so obvious. And I think I'm going to put like big lashes on. See, even if you're just looking for like a black liquid liner, try this Barry M and see what you think. Because look, it just it doesn't crack. That edge looks a bit rough, but it's only because I've covered up the blue. But like this doesn't crack on its own at all. Okay, that's all right for just now. And then for the blue, I kind of changed my mind halfway through, but I'm taking my Sheen Epic Liner in Ocean Blue. This is one of the pastels. And I dabbed this on my inner corner first because like, I do want like a contrasting color. I think that would be more fun. Sorry about the boy racers. I just plumped that in there and I just thought, you know, it's just added a little bit of something else. And then Elena sent me this. This is a Profusion Bright Light UV Neon Liner. And I used this initially and then I changed my mind and went over it. But oh, maybe I could just, try, no, I'll just do this anyway, just in case. Because I would like them to look similar. So I'm just going to outline this part of the the wing. I love when he attacks my monitor when I'm on it. I don't know if I can show you. Let me see. No, oh, maybe it's not looking. <laughs> Silly boy. I did go up here as well. Again, you don't actually have to be that neat with this because we can clean around the edges and we can clean up inside and I took it yeah, put ye ye much in I mean this is a really pretty colour but I just thought that the pastel was a bit more kind of something to look at you know right I'll let that dry we'll speed it up though then taking another of my Royal and Lang Nicol brushes, this is 20-0. I'm going back to this. I feel like that darker blue just gives it a good base to sit on. This is a fabulous brush, this is a bit bigger and longer, so I'm just like lying it against my skin. Again, this does not have to be too neat. Love these sheen liners. These are definitely going in like my 2020 favourites. That'll be quite a long video, I think. I've already started compiling the list. So if you can think of anything that you know is my favourite, leave it in the comments so that I don't forget about it. <laughs> I feel like some of you remember these things better than I do. I know this is looking real bad, but we can clean it up. Okay, I mean this is definitely bigger than the other eye, but whatever. Back to Barry M. Please get this. It's really good. And my other little brush, I'm gonna 
neaten this up just kind of by deleting some of what we've done. starting to take shape. I'm going to go back in with my L'Oreal concealer and that brush that doth not have a name and I'm just going around with like a fine tooth comb and trying to clean it up a bit. I'll probably like finagle with this uh, and just make sure that I'm happy with it and then we will do our base. I'll probably just do it silently just because I'm watching um, a video that I'm enjoying and then we'll see like about lashes and stuff but yeah we'll do our base together but I'll just do it off camera. This is so much bigger than this side. <laughs> I might try and just fix it but that is how I did it basically. Maybe when I come back it's gonna be a wee bit neater. That's the steps anyway. I'm going to use my Tati Mitchell lashes because they're very dramatic and I just feel like being dramatic. This eye look is dramatic. Why am I like talking quietly? It's because Potato's sleeping and I don't want to upset him. This is my Velour Lash Glue. This is the black one. How brave I am using black eyelash glue. How times have changed. These are so fluttery. I think I will do lower lash mascara. Maybe make it blue. But I'm not gonna put any like eyeshadow or anything on down here. Mm, I don't know what to do down here. What do we think? Just mascara? Yeah, I could go nuts, but I feel like I shouldn't. I guess that's kind of us. Because I've got my lips on, I've got everything on. Oh, we're done. Oh my goodness. 
I was like not that bad. <laughs> sometimes filming takes me like seven hours and sometimes it takes me like three. Today's more like a three. So I guess, I mean, I guess we're done. We're done. That is my makeup. Like what do you think? I think it's just a bit of fun. I really like graphic liner and I can't really do winged liner on my hooded eyes but when I make it like this big and dramatic it, it works because it's like its own thing. I think the blue was a good addition. I didn't initially do that but I do think that's quite nice. And my skin is very purposefully full, full coverage, pretty matte, quite peachy on the blush. Like I've not gone ham on the skin, although I did put a lot of foundation and concealer on just so that it was super matte and things, just because I think that looks nice with the really dramatic eye makeup. I just need to put some mascara on my own lashes. Yeah, I'm really happy with this look. What do you think? Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of this look. I know it doesn't match exactly on either side but again you just take the photo from the side and then no one notices <laughs> so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this if you did please do give it a big thumbs up it helps me out a lot subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and tell me down below what to do next and subscribe if you haven't already i do three videos a week it's a lot of work it would be nice of you and on that note i'm gonna piss off have a lovely day whatever it is you're doing potato is sleeping so i will leave him there and i hope i'll catch you on the flip side bye I am literally talking quietly because he's so